My coven told me at a very young age that eventually I had to leave them. They claimed that this is to toughen us up, make us stronger, and embed our roots in multiple places so that we remain where we belong. As I grew of age, I knew that it was time. I set off on my adventure to become the best witch that I could be. I have a reputation to uphold after all. So keep watching to see how I establish my place in this realm and become the best witch of the lands. There was actually some- yeah, there's some smoke over here that I've seen. Check out what this is. I don't think I've actually, ex uh, explored over here before. Let me be a little bit cautious. Oh, it's these guys. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll leave them alone for now. Oh, wow. What is this? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, well, here's the books that I needed. Ooh. I'll take it for sure. Get an apple for your straw golem? There's straw golems? Sure hope it's not trapped up here. Well, how pretty is this? I want all of this. Are you kidding? Okay, just making sure. You never know. <laughs> cool definitely take the moss and all of this honestly okay perfect guess I'll just go level by level then looks like somebody might have stayed here though I wonder where they went whoa had to be careful You know, I'll probably come back for these bookcases. Let's see if I can grab this. Ugh, no, I can't. Ooh, a skull, though. Hmm. See if I can get rid of this block. This one. So I can grab this. Huh. Nice. Oh, it's dark. Good thing there's a bed up here. Okay. 
wait. This is not a place that I have on my map. Or that, or that I have marked. Stay on your guard. Huh, this looks like a tower. An enchanting tower? That can't- that's- that sounds amazing, right? Hmm. But you can never be too careful. An enchanting tower, huh? Hourglass? Are you kidding? Absolutely, I will take that. Oh! Hello! Hi! <laughs> How are you doing? It's nice to see somebody else around here. Ooh, warped fungus. Let me take that. Let's see what else you got in here. Nether wart. Powdered obsidian. Okay. Potion of strength. You've been you've been chefing it up in here, huh? You know what, sir? I'll come back for you. We can be friends. You'll love it, and I'll make a whole house just for you. Yeah. An enchanted book, a painting, and a brewing stand. Whoa! Look at this big bird! A courier bird? You're kinda cute! <gasps> what are you? With your big old nose! You're adorable! <laughs> Aw. Hello. Oh, sorry to ruin your crops. I just need to... Oh, you are giant. Quite literally a giant moth. Oof. Oof. Um, I just need a, I need to sleep. You have a bed? Of course you don't have a bed. Does anybody have a bed I can borrow? Which is super duper quick. Oh, that was a close one. All right, cool. It's a village. It's pretty far away, but... Nevertheless, it's here. Ah! Where? Oh my god! Get out of here! Jesus! What is this? The heck is this supposed to be? Oh! How nice! Now we can get to the village and back. <gasps> what is that? That looks like all types of bad. <laughs> wow. I'm already getting lost. Look at this! Absolutely I'm taking that. I'm so sorry, but I need that. Are you 
joking? Absolutely, I'm putting those on. Like, what? Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, oh, why do they keep repeating? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see if I can find a way to get in. Carrot crate? Blueberry sack. Dude. Oh, no! Okay, you know what though? They don't, it's just pillagers with, uh. Okay, it's nobody too bad. I might be able to take them. Keyword is might. <laughs> okay. All right, we can do this, we can do this. I've dealt with these guys before, nothing new. Oh, look at that, hitting each other. Oh, oh, I keep accidentally opening the door. <laughs> okay, all right, we got this. Just a couple at a time. A couple at a time. All right. Yep. Oh, who was that? Oh, who are you? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Wow. And there's still more in my inventory. Definitely have to sort through all of this.
This is the outside. I'm thinking I want to change these room lights to another color, but I also, I'm also kind of digging the blue. I feel like it's a good, like, contrast, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's check inside. Oh my gosh, I love it. Over here, I have just a little area with a little cauldron. Of course, I had to decorate with some red candles. Over here, just have some books, potions, and a skull plant. Absolutely love. We got some floating books. Casted a spell on those. Simple, easy magic. Here is the kitchen area over here. 
super cute oh a crafting table is supposed to be right here <laughs> let's put that down yeah, it's a little kitchen area with some hanging herbs and if we go upstairs this is the upstairs I have a little desk area over here just with a little library and have this little pumpkin with some more floating tones and some hanging plants. Love it, absolutely love it. Now that I have my house, I seriously need a room because all this walking around is getting very old. But before I do that, oh, looky there, looky there. I actually have something to show. So if I just go ahead and take my armor off, take my hat off, and take my fire gauntlet off, oh, along with my kitty slippers, <laughs> and I just go like that, look at me! I am officially in witch attire. Definitely ready to get this broom. I've done a lot of planning. Went ahead and moved the waystone to in here. So this will be its official area. And of course, once I move all these freaking sacks and make a storage, <laughs> then I will get rid of all of these chests. But for now, we're going to make sure that the waystone is witchy enough. But... I do have these areas over here and I just want to double check to make sure that everything is good. I used some wool to kind of lay out where I want some builds to go. So this I want the greenhouse over here with all my botany with all of my botany pots. Over here I'm thinking of having a sister live in here, a new member of the coven, but of course they have to go through ritual first before they can join. Over here still not sure about this area but maybe another coven house for a sister who knows if we go around over here this is an area that I want to have for spell casting and I want to put an enchanting table over here and I want to go ahead and incorporate some of the biome so I just went ahead and just grabbed some materials that are from this biome and just bring it down over here and kind of drape it over here and I kind of want to make it, I want to make it like enclosed a little bit, but I still want there to be a lot of space. So I'm thinking just have like a bunch of trees kind of border around the area. So I'll still have space to cast some things. And of course I can always either just build over here, go into the actual biome itself or expand over this way. But yeah, this area is going to be dedicated specifically for spell casting because I want to be out in nature. Nature is a very important part of the Coven of Serenity, so yes. All right, then over here, not sure what this area is going to be either, but I'm sure something. We can figure something out. And then I'm thinking maybe put a little special surprise right here Dead that signifies our dedication to the Covenant of Serenity. And then if we come over here, we have a wise oak tree that's actually right by the house that I didn't notice until I was building it. So yes, anyways, let's start up here. So up here, I want to have another house with a little farm and a hammock on a uh, a hammock hanging on the side of the street because I think this tree is perfect to have like a little hammock so this area will be another coven house with a farm in the back and then over here I want the broom shop to be I'm gonna clear out this area and make it a little bit bigger than just this of course but this area over here is where I want the broom shop to be and then if we come over here I don't want to go too close because there's pillagers right over there and this guy is definitely testing his luck but there's this little space over here that I think would be great to put a crystal cave I think there's there's like a ton of different crystals 
in this world and I definitely want to take advantage of that and make a little crystal cave. I think that'd be super cute. What is this? Oh, it's a Starbuckle. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move on past the broom shop. And coming up right over here is going to be my storage area because storage is definitely going to be difficult <laughs> as I see I'm I guess I'm a pretty cluttered person but this will be the storage building right over here all right if we go all the way over here past this area this this area I want to turn into something special that I won't spoil it right now but it does have to do with the nether because there's definitely some materials that I need to get from the nether and I think this little opened cave right here would be perfect for that so we'll have to worry about that later Wait, don't tell me. Oh, I wasn't protected this entire time. Or was I? I really don't know. I really don't know. Okay, well, we're protected now. I'm protected now. That's all that matters. I also want to go ahead and move this area, but I'm not I'm just not sure where. I might have to build a a animal farm. If you know what I mean. Corporate animals. Anywho, let's finally get on with making this freaking room. get some oh I would and then we're gonna put a crafting table in here just to make things easier so for the broom Ah, that's right, we need the mixing cauldron. Did I ever end up making that? I think I did, I just need to find it. There we go. One mixing cauldron. Guess I can get rid of all these shovels now, huh? Okay, mixing cauldron we got. And I actually did end up getting some animal fat. I have to figure out which chest it is and um Oh, it might be in my house. Let's go to my house. sleep as well.
Good morning. All right. Let's see. Yep, here is one animal fat. We might need two, though, if I remember correctly. And then we still need the blood as well. Hmm, we need to go visit a swamp to get a mandrake plant. Interesting. And then we need a broom brush as well. Hmm, something is definitely telling me that this hexaray book will help me out. So. Let's see if we can make that. For now, I'll just put my stuff in here. Let's see. Ah, animal fat. Okay. Luckily, we do have that. I am not too sure about the leather, though. That might be an issue. That might be an issue indeed. And there's no cows around here. Oh, thank God. Thank the gods. Okay. And now we just need a book, sage seeds, which I have plenty of. Light blue dye, yellow dye. So any kind of dye. I think I have black dye somewhere in here. Oh, here's purple dye. Okay, let me go grab some sage seeds real quick. Okay. Okay, so it should be this, I already forgot, <laughs> a book, seeds, dye, and leather. <sighs> Perfect. Seems like I need an altar. Just when I think I'm done, something else pops up, which is typical. Okay, let's see how to make an altar. Looks like it's just mahogany planks and slabs. Mahogany, willow, or witch hazel. Hmm. I feel like I've definitely seen some... Some witchy wood somewhere. Maybe... Let's try this way. Oh, well, what do we have here? <laughs> Wait, is this a village? Wow, it's an actual village. So close to home, and how did I not know? Well, <laughs> that's great. Oh, yes, I will take this. <gasps> Wait. And luckily, it is easily accessible. Oh. Pestle and mortar. Absolutely. 
a drying rack, absolutely. Herb jar, absolutely. Wow. I'm getting pretty lucky. Let's not let the crows out. Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you, Coven. Crows, it was nice seeing you. I might actually take this carpet as well. was I doing? <laughs> um, oh, that's right, making an altar. Okay, so we just need planks and slabs. Should be something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and put it here for now. Where is our book? Here we go. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. Being a witch is so cool sometimes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Hexeray. Welcome. Welcome to the wonderful witchcraft filled world of Hexeray, where many of your desires, known and unknown, will be met to its fullest. Huh. Would you look at that? Alright, so we need. Room. Or more importantly, we actually need to figure out how to get the bottle of blood. Nice. <laughs> to acquire the blood, you first need a mixing cauldron with the blood sigil inside. Then simply jump into the cauldron three times to drain enough blood for one bottle to scoop it out. To scoop it out, simply right click the cauldron with an empty bottle. Ugh. Oh, thank you, Coven. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see. A mixing cauldron we do have. Let's go ahead and place it in an open area. A blood sigil. Let's see him. Blood sigil. Here we go. 
Ah, redstone and polished blackstone. Hmm. Do I have blackstone? Okay. Time to search. <laughs> Concern me. Here we go.